As I'm preparing for this huge installation, I was telling you guys by seeing that uh, 2,600 and 2,850 long cable and two spool of wires. I showed you on the video. Um, guys, this is going to be a series of videos coming up and I'm working on all these, what I'm trying to do right here. Uh, with the JW Solar USA. Say so, guys, um, this is the combiner box. I'm going to be showing you. I made a video years ago, but this is a long time plan. It wasn't like an accident. It just happened today. This is something I've planned for very, very, very long time, years, and now it's coming to pass. So guys, let me show you. This is the combiner box, a solar TV combiner box live here at the JW Solar USA in Minnesota I can subscribe as you can see this is a waterproof seal it's made by Hoffman and uh, let's open it get a screw here you can go all the way lock it in so you get proper waterproof or IP 65 or IP 60 whatever you call it so in here you can see is made by Hoffman, like I told you guys, and um, these are the specifications. You see, it takes in maximum voltage over 600 volt DC from the PV, and uh, maximum system output is 180 amps. 180 amps out. This one can take, and the maximum input is 15 amps. So just remember when you go series, the voltage is higher and the uh, amps are lower. But when you bring a lot of strings in, this is what you do. So each string has a fuse thing where it comes in. So pop this thing and you can see all the fuses where they go and it tells you the number of strings that this thing has is about 12 strings remember i told you guys it's going to be about 12 strings so it's something i prepare i told you on the wires go back and look um, watch the videos on the the spool of wires i told you i got so it's a 12 strings and i try to max this to 12 strings it's mounted here where like how you go um um a DIN rail so this is the bus bar that takes all the DC wires coming in the negative wires and each string is gonna go here on the back and they all come here and parallel so it is a heavy duty it's just like a when you have a ruler a 12 foot a 12 inches ruler like that board ruler back in the day in school you know, or high school, middle school. So this, <laughs> this is how thick it is. That's the example I'm gonna give you. Just how thick it is. I don't know how much inch is this, but that's how thick. Look at this big beefy bus bar. Um, interconnect after you get it, all these things parallel, and this is the output where you can use even a bigger, bigger log. Do I look at this hole? It looks probably it can take a number two hot cable, a two hot cable, or number four. Yeah, it looks like number four. So, and uh, and it's a non-fusible block right here. And check this out. That's the information. Hoffman, if you want one, maybe you can just probably call them. Or they have them online. It has a suspension bushing right here that lifts this boss bar for... Um, less strain on it. So guys, the only downside about this box I was looking, the fuses are very, very, very expensive. When I got them, I tried to test them. The fuse, they blow. If you make any mistake or whatever, sorry, the fuse is going to go really quick. So um, fuses are really good to have when you, you fuse and break. That's the good thing. But um, I'm going to see by improvising or incorporate um, 
breakers here instead of the fuses because these fuses are really really expensive if you try to look look up this fuse online they cost a lot of money and let's go back here and tell you the size of wire or the gauge and the torque this is what it tells you right here there you go I'll let you read that right you can use 6 to 14 can use all those wires 6 AWG and what I'm gonna do you guys go back and watch this one whole project is a reference of everything you go back and watch my videos you see how many fuses or uh, a midnight DC breakers I bought I you see I bought a box of them I can able to incorporate even 15 15 15 15 amps on this one if I wanted to to give me the total capacity what um, this guy is talking about here okay so if the, it depends to the panel some panels goes to 20 amp 25 amp it depends the new panels they have a higher um, requirements are you need a fuse for 20 amps or 15 amps you know if it's a 250 250 uh, watt solar panels they mostly go in the two uh, the 15 amps some of them are higher voltage panels goes with uh, uh, lower amperage the lower voltage ones that normally require higher amperage so these are the things so I'm just gonna use the midnight thing exactly just like this I'm gonna take these ones off if I wanted to because I don't have all the fuses for them and when I try to buy these ones, just these six of these cost me over over thirty dollars for this. So I have some of them I save on my basket, um, shopping basket, and now this cost me a fortune, and it costs so much over ninety or eighty to ninety dollars for just a dozen of those fuses. And fuses can blow so fast, and uh, due to that. I rather put uh, breakers in there because anytime the breaker uh, trip, then we can reset it. But there's an option for this. So this is what I want to show you guys today. This box has already been reviewed on my videos before, and um, now this box is coming to life. And the breakers, I talk a lot about those. You guys can see. Go back and check, like the video I posted yesterday. You just see the. Um, uh, uni rack um, mounting racks and all that kind of stuff i bought some of those i bought the spring uh, the spring uh, re uh, release on the for the uni uh spring slides whatever they call them and uh, i have those because for the uni struts and i i already have the ground ground rods copper rods and these are the logs right here because i end up buying two and two copper rods which are eight foot long for grounding and these are all you can pick up from Menards, Lowe's and Home Depot these are this see that ground log clamp so these are all for grounding and I was prepared for these guys and this is what we're gonna do okay and this is a sticker I can take this I can build this I just remove the um, the thing look like a metal so I can post it on the box on the side outside it has a, a heavy um, sticker on it so this is what I've done and this is what we're gonna be doing and I hope you guys can stay tuned and support me to the uh, on this install I'm gonna be doing but it's coming up i can't tell you when but stay tuned when it comes you started seeing all the video series for this one old project live here at the jw solo usa thanks for watching love you guys all bye for now like and subscribe